toy time at home. everybody, I'm Gwen Roth from the Hamilton County Soil and Water Conservation District and today I'm here to talk to you about cicadas. This happens every 17 years in the Midwest and we're so excited to learn more about it. So today we're going to be reading the story, A Periodical Cicada's Life by Ellen Lawrence. A Big Night in a Forest. Just before dark I visited a forest near my house to see something amazing. Thousands of wingless brown insects were crawling out of the ground. Dad told me the insects are periodical cicadas. At this stage in their life, they're called nymphs. Can you believe the cicada nymphs have been living underground for 17 years? Millions of nymphs emerge from the ground at the same time. How do they know when to do this? It's a mystery that scientists are still trying to solve. During the night, the nymphs climbed up the trees in the forest. As each one held tightly onto a tree, its brown skin began to crack. After about an hour, the insect wriggled out of its skin. It now has a new yellowish-white body and wings. Dad says this is the adult stage of the periodical cicada's life. After a cicada nymph sheds its skin, the skin eventually falls to the ground. Sometimes the ground is covered with thousands of empty skins. So we see here the adult is cracking out of that old nymph skin. It's been a week since I visited the forest and the cicadas have changed again. Instead of yellowish white, their bodies are now black and orange. Their wings have changed color too. Dad said it took less than a day for the cicada's white bodies to darken. So we see the old cicada skin here and now the mature adult cicada over there. Everywhere I look, swarms of cicadas are flying from tree to tree. I also see birds chasing after the insects. Robins, starlings, wild turkeys, and other birds catch and eat them. Dad said squirrels, mice, snakes, and toads feed on them too. See, there's a toad eating a cicada. I can hear a very loud noise in the forest, but what is it? Dad said the male cicadas are singing to the females. The cicada sounds sound like tick, 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 buzz, tick, 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 buzz. The males sing to attract the females to mate with. The female cicadas answer by making flicking sounds with their wings. The male cicadas actually have parts inside their bodies that vibrate like the top of a drum. These parts are called timbals and are used to make the cicada's song. A few days after mating, a female cicada lays her eggs on branches and twigs. Today, Dad and I watched a female making a small cut in the bark of a twig. She did this using a saw-like part on the end of her body. Next, she laid 24 tiny white eggs inside the cut. Then she made more cuts in the twig and laid more eggs. And did you know a female cicada can lay up to 600 eggs? It's been six weeks since we watched the female cicada laying her eggs. We visited the forest today and it was very quiet. The adult cicadas have all died. Dad has something exciting to show me though. Millions of tiny white nymphs are hatching from cicada eggs. The adult cicadas only live for about four weeks. And these newly hatched cicadas are smaller than a piece of rice. After the nymphs hatch, they fall from the tree branches onto the ground. Then they use their large front legs to bury themselves in the soil. In their dark underground world, the nymphs feed on juices from plant roots. They suck up the juices with their straw-like mouth parts. And here we see the nymphs that's starting to dig into the ground. And they can live about two feet below the surface of the ground. Today I went for a walk in the forest and it's hard to believe there are millions of cicada nymphs living in the soil underneath my feet. Dad says the nymphs will grow and change over a very long time. 
then in 17 years, they will crawl out of the ground and begin their adult lives. The next time I see the cicadas in the forest, I'll be an adult myself. Periodical cicadas live longer than any other insect in the United States. Some periodical cicadas, like the ones we have here in Ohio, have a 17 year life cycle. So if you want, you can draw your very own cicada diary. And we also have some science words that we talked about in our book today. How the cicadas emerge or come out from in the ground. Insects, which is what a cicada is, it has three body parts and six legs. When they mate is when a male and a female get together to produce young. Nymphs are the young, the life, the, in, the young part of the cicada. Swarms are just the massive amounts of cicadas that come together every 17 years. And that timbal word, that was the part that the males have to make all those noises. So I hope you enjoyed our book about cicadas and now we get to do a little fun activity where we get to make our very own cicada out of old toilet paper tubes. So what I've done is I've taken an old toilet paper tube and I've painted it. You can really paint it any color you want. I kind of have some black and some blue and some gray in here. And then what you want to do is you kind of want to smash the top along there. And then I cut some legs out of old pipe cleaners. And you can just take them and you can set them right inside there. And I use a little staple to kind of click it closed. Now for our eyes on our cicada, what I did is I used some red pom poms. Now, if you don't have pom-poms laying around the house, that's totally okay. You can use some red beads. Maybe you can even take some old red construction paper and just stick it right on there. So I use a lot of tacky glue sometimes. It works a little bit better than some of that water um, glue, but any glue you have will be perfectly fine. Now for the wings, what I did is I used an old packing pillow. You know, these are really stuffed with air. So I just cut it and I drew with my Sharpie marker some veins onto the wings. Now, if you don't have one of these packing pillows, you can really use any kind of plastic that you want. Uh, you can use an old sandwich bag. You can use an old grocery paper bag. That's totally fine. It works best if you have a permanent marker, but you can try it with any different kind of marker. So then what I do is I just take this and I bunch it up together and tie a little string around it. And then I can glue that right on top of my cicada. And how easy is that? We just made a super cool cicada out of some old stuff that we might even find right around the house. I hope you guys really enjoyed our book today and learning all about cicadas and learning how to make a cicada craft at home. Have a great day. Get free books in the mail. Sign up today. Go to OhioImagination Library.org to find out more.